Hey guys, what's up? It's Derek the Trash Man here, and uh, today we are going to be looking at all of the new features in Google Snake Game. So, first off, let's just die real quick. And um, so, first things first, I guess. Uh, now you can choose uh, whatever type of fruit you want. They have a ton of different fruits like bananas, uh, pineapples, grapes, pumpkins, onions, you know, a whole of, ton of different fruits. But um, for now, let's just use this fruit basket so we can get, you know, like random fruit. Um, but the main thing that's new is the new game modes. So the first one right here, as you can see, is the rabbit, which means it's you just really you just go really fast. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty cool. Um, the whole game just speeds up. And yeah, it's a lot different. Um, but yeah, then the opposite of that is the turtle game mode, which is also pretty cool, but all you do is really go slow. Um, just slows down the game a whole lot. Uh, it's, you know, pretty cool. Um, actually kind of take things slow, I guess. I don't know, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, the next game mode we have here is the three, uh, three fruit game mode, where basically there's three um, fruits on the board at a time. Um, it's kind of cool, actually, um, especially with the fruit basket, because then you get like all these different fruits just around the board, random places. It's it's actually really cool. Um, yeah, you could get a lot higher score on this than you would normally, I guess. Um, but now this one, this one's probably the hardest one, the wall one. It's really hard to do because, uh, well, as you'll see in a little bit, you, you spawn a wall every two pieces of fruit you eat. So for every two pieces of fruit you eat, uh, it makes a wall. So <laughs> it can get really tricky, uh, especially when you get longer. It's really hard, um, but it's really fun though too, actually. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it if you're just starting out. Um, it's not what you want to do, but it is really cool and a really nice challenge. Um, yeah, it's pretty great. And then the final game mode, last but not least, is the infinite mode, where you just can't die. You, you just go through walls. Um, your snake can't kill you either, and you just keep going. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool game mode just to see how far you can get, I guess, <laughs> until you get bored. Um, yeah, it's, there's not really a lot to it. You just can't die. But yeah, then there's one other feature that I would like to talk about. Uh, and that's how you can change the color of your snake again. And this time there is a lot more options. So you can see like pink, red, orange, yellow, green. There's, there's a whole ton of options. But uh, they also included the rainbow snake again, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, and then there's there's one last thing that I would like to talk about is the randomize button. You just, it, it randomizes what, um, everything, it pretty much randomizes everything. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool if you want to change things up a little bit. Just click the random button, you know, get a random set of things. Um, yeah, anyway guys, uh, thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Uh, yeah.